So when it comes to sports at Southampton, there are so many different types of things to get involved with. You have netball, you've got basketball, you've got tennis, you've got rugby, you've got squash, you've got everything. And a good thing I like is that you can continue the stuff that you played from school, you continue at university and also try new things, even if you only do it once. And that also extends to all the different types of martial arts. Like I think I tried kickboxing one time, I had never done it in my life. Um, so... Yeah, really good opportunities here at the university. There's, I know for a fact there's sports that I can't even pronounce, um, but definitely get stuck in and get involved. Um, of course, there are going to be different price levels, and that depends on two things. One, it depends on um, how frequent you'll be playing. And it also depends on the level you're going to be playing. So, for example, because I study business, I may choose to play casually um, as part of the business society, play netball, for example. But then, and the price may be cheaper than if I was to play uh, competitively at varsity level against other universities. Uh, whereas if I was to just play casually, it may be between the economic society or the accounting society and, you know, within the university and within the department even. So that is something to think about um, because where you play competitively, um, there will be costs in terms of kit, uh, kits, socials and travel as well. So that is one thing to keep in mind. And... I think the good thing about getting involved with these different societies and all the all of these different sports is the friendships that you'll make. I met so many different people just by going to one kickboxing social or one basketball social. Um, and it's a really good way to meet people that you wouldn't necessarily see day to day when you go to your course and who may not necessarily be living uh, in your accommodation or anywhere near you so it's really good on the social side and it's also a good way to travel where you play against different members at different universities as well um i also want to say that so my camera managed to cut out so that's great <laughs> but what i wanted to say was that being on the committee for different sports societies is an excellent way to boost your cv as well um because it shows leadership skills and it shows that you are able to run events and also network with other people and manage projects so i think all in all being a part of the committee and also getting involved and active with different sports can benefit you in many different ways.